Hey Touchboards Nation, it's Anthony here again. Today we're going to talk about the Cuomo QIT600 F1 interactive display panel. Now you may be thinking, why so small? These little guys, they serve a special purpose and they're really useful and that's what we're going to talk about now. So the QIT600 is best used in an application where you have a space larger than a typical classroom. So let's say in a typical classroom you have 25, 30 students. If you have maybe 50 or more people in your audience, an interactive whiteboard or LCD just isn't big enough. So you get one of these. You put it on your podium, on your desk, you use it interactively, just like you would your larger displays on the wall, but then you display this through a projector or through other LCDs so that way everyone in your audience will be able to see what you're doing. So let's walk around this QIT600 real quick. So as you can see here, it's not that big, 21 inches, uses a pen. So it's not touch sensitive with your hand, you have to use the pen. What's good about that, it's made for writing. You're gonna to wanna to use this to annotate, to write notes and draw. This pen's gonna give you that precision and it also has palm rejection. So you can put your hand on it, write, draw, do whatever you want. It's only paying attention to this pen. It doesn't care about your hand. It is freestanding right here on its own, and it comes with this base already attached, and it's adjustable. So you can have it laying down, almost flat if you wanted to, or you can raise it up to various heights, like so. Get it wherever it's comfortable for you. And where I had it before, that's the highest it goes. So it's almost straight up and down. So it gives you a lot of adjustment. And the best part is this whole stand comes off. And you've got a visa pattern right on the back there. So if you've got an articulating arm or a wall mount that you want to put it on, you can do that. You can have it mounted on an arm on your desk, move it up and down, have it mounted on a wall. And you can just use it to display your computer screen and annotate over it pretty much anywhere. I have the pen right here. Now, nothing happens when I touch it with my finger. Nothing at all. But when I touch it with the pen, you can see the mouse cursor moving around on the desktop. Now, if I go in here and select a pen tool from the Cuomo software, I can now draw over my desktop. Again, nothing happens when I use my finger. On the back panel here, You'll see we have VGA, DVI, HDMI, power cord, and USB. Now you're going to choose your video input. You're going to need USB for the computer, so at least one video and your USB. And of course you need your power cord. Things, things can need power. So you're going to go back to your computer. You're going to run a USB cable. That's this light colored cable here. You're going to run your power cord, which is this thin cable here and you're gonna run your video cable. Now in our case, we're using an HDMI. It's right here. The HDMI and the USB are plugged into our laptop, like so. Now, that's all well and good, right? But how do we get that video out to our projector or our other display? The Cuomo doesn't have a video output, so you're gonna need a video splitter. Now your splitter will be a small box, works real well together, you're just going to need that video splitter to do it. Now, we sell splitters. We can find one for you that's going to work great. If you have a splitter yourself, great. As long as it's one of the right connections, you're fine. But we'd be happy to find one for you and uh, quote it to you along with the QIT600 F1. So if you have any questions about how this works, how best to use it, what splitter you should get, just give us a call. You can reach us at 866-942-6273.